Hey guys and girls, I'm James Stanton and welcome to my channel. Before you go buy the HS210, or maybe you've already bought it and you're like me, you don't want to read the manual, you want to hop on YouTube and figure out how to fly this thing. If you've already bought it, congratulations, you've made a very smart decision. I bought five of these for Christmas presents and everybody absolutely loves them. I've had mine about a year, I've crashed it over a thousand times before I finally had to buy another one, and that's just because my dog caught it midair and crunched on it. Uh, right now I think they're $28. I bought them when they were on sale for $21. They come with three batteries and I'll get into the how to fly it and how it operates in a few minutes but I want to go over a few other things. The reason why it's so important to start as this is a beginner drone before you buy some of these other Inspires and larger drones is because everybody thinks that these are beginner drones that the Maverick Mini or the Spark is a beginner drone. These are not beginner drones and these are not toys. This is a toy, but this is a lot of fun, especially on a day like today. It's real nasty outside here in Texas. Yesterday it was like 70, but you know what they say in Texas, if you don't like the weather, wait a minute. And now we've got icicles hanging off the eaves. But um, so it's great for today's like today. My dogs, they hear this little beep and they just come, come a running because they know they're going to get to chase this little drone all over the house. And the more I fly this around the house for hours, the more I learn the orientation of what a drone does. Let me explain what that means. This uh, controller for the HS210 has two dials that move like this, just like the controller for like a Maverick Pro 2 or something. These move all the different ways. And what that does, that gives you eight axes. And what I mean by eight axes is you have forward pitch, backward pitch, uh, left roll, right roll, up down and y'all left and right so there's a lot going on with this drone and you throw a three axis gimbal into it and zoom and all of a sudden you've got 12 different things that you're having to think about with this controller and if you just if you go out and spend a thousand dollars on a drone so if you go out and spend a bunch of money on your first drone before you learn the orientation you're probably going to end up something like this a thousand dollar piece of junk if you don't know how to fly it also, this is a toy and a great beginner drone. This is not a toy, and everybody looks at this as a toy or a beginner drone. Do you know that this uh, DJI Spark weighs almost as much as this can of Coke? And uh, this thing with the wind behind it can hit up to over 40 miles an hour. And it also has these things on them called blades. They're called blades for a reason. They will cut you. Can you imagine this Coke can coming at you at 40 miles an hour with blades and hitting you in the head? That's why it's so important to start with this HS210 or another toy drone like it. But to, in my mind, this is the best one uh, to get because it just seems extremely reliable, uh, easy to fly, easy to hook up. The controls are super easy. And let's go over some of those. So you definitely want to learn how to fly this HS210 before you go investing a small fortune in other drones. If any of these look interesting to you, please like and subscribe and I'll be comparing all these other drones and the different aspects of them in videos to come. So let's go over the remote and the different things that it does. Of course, on the bottom right here, you've got your on off switch. You'll hear that little beep when it comes on. Um, and you, this is to take off, you push this button. Uh, but before you even do that, you've got to pair it. So you're gonna go up and then down. I'll show you that in a minute when we fly. Right here, you've got headless mode. Don't ever use that. That is, uh, it'll take away the orientation of the drone. And the whole point of the drone is to learn the orientation. It'll just go whichever direction you push it. Up here, you've got your speed switch. Um, if you see that little speed dial right there, the, it's going to take off. It's going to be what I call tripod mode. You push it once, it'll beep twice. That'll put it into uh, positioning mode and you push it a third time to go into support mode. And that's when it's really fast. Right here, you got your flip button, uh, whichever you push the button in whichever direction you push this next, that's the direction it's going to go. Um, we'll go over the controls in a minute when we're flying it. This is to take off or to take off. You can pull both of them down this way. Um, also for trim, uh, it's a lot different than the other ones. You don't see the trim button. So what you do is you push down on this one, you hear that little click, and then you go opposite on this one. So like, let's say it's hovering to the right. So you want to push down on this button and hold it a little bit over this way until it hovers in place. And we'll, I'll show you that when we're, when we're flying it. And if you ever get in trouble, uh, you can push the land button or if you hold back down on both of these again, the motors will stop and it'll fall to the ground. So the Holystone 210 comes with this adapter that plugs into the wall. Uh, the light will be red when it's charging, green when it's done. And you just plug them into this side of this little adapter right here and they pull out. And then you just put it in the bottom of your quadcopter. 
So what you want to do once you get this battery plugged in is you want to see here that the, you got a green and a red light. Uh, the green is in the front, the back is in the rear, the red is in the rear. Uh, when, you turn the, when you turn it on, you're gonna hear this little beep. And what you want to do to pair it is you want to push up and then down. And then you can either pull both of the joysticks in or you can push up on this. And then once you push up, it's the, the motors are gonna light up and then you push up. You see how steady this thing is? You can hear my dogs in the background. They really want to come after this thing. All right, so you see how it's kind of want to drift a little bit if you want. See how it's going this way a little bit? So if I push and do that, then it's going to set the trim. It's going to keep it straighter. So you've got forward, backwards, left, right up down and yaw okay so right now the speed that it's in is in position one you want to see it do a little flip you push it whichever direction you do it'll go see that it's kind of fun but when you press it the second time hear those two beats now it's going twice it's in second mode number two. I'll let my dogs out of here in a minute. And then you push it again. Here's the three beeps. All right, now she's ready to go. It's got good speed. You can probably set yourself up a little obstacle course and go flying it around. See how it bumps into things? Guys, that Tela, if I bumped into something like this with the Tela, watch this thing. It'll just bump into walls and it's fine. It'll just kick back. Well, lots of fun, which makes it a lot easier than, than picking it up all the time. You know, all right. I think it's time we let my dogs out. What do you think? Go back here. Now the dogs love chasing too. They're just running up and down the hallway. You see how loud they are, but that's part of the fun of it. What you want to do, you see that green light? Point it at you and learn how to make it just work. Make it learn how to go around you. Anyway, so the red light's going away from you. When it comes back, it's, of course, everything's going to be different. Hey guys and girls, thanks for watching my review of the Holy Stone 210. What a fun little drone this is. It's just a blast. My dogs love it. I've had this one for a long time. Actually, this is my second one. But um, if you got any good information out of this, please like and subscribe. I got a lot of good videos coming out on drones and video production and the things I'm going to be doing over the next year and flying some of these big Inspires and Phantoms and stuff. But uh, this is where you always want to start. It's a blast. Um, enjoy yourself and have a great day.